Hey guys, Mark here. So in the previous video, I showed you the Bao treasure knot jig, but that video alone would not make much sense if I did not show you how to use it as well. In this video, we're going to tie the three times three Bao treasure knot, which is about a happy medium in terms of size and application. So with that said, let's jump right in. So here you can see the three times three Bao treasure knot. And we're going to tie one using a jig. It is called a 3 times 3 bow because it has three sections of three cords at the top, which give it its look. So let's tie one. The first thing we're going to do is take a piece of paracord and form a bite at the middle, meaning we basically fold the cord in half. and place it between the two rows, the top screws and the screws on the side. With our top cord, we're going to go under the bite, and then fold over this same section that we went under. So fold it over like this. We are going to take the bottom or left cord and make another bite. Like this. And then with our top cord, we are again going to go under these two bites. So under. and then fold over the two bites. We're finally going to form the third bite using our left cord. And then go under these three of the bites and towards the top, like this. We have now finished working with our top cord I'm just using the lacing needle to make my work a bit more fluid. You don't actually need one. So here we're going to enter all three loops from the bottom. So under the loop, under the second loop, and under the third loop with our bottom cord. We're now going to go behind the top cord. So here. And under and through the first of the three loops at the top. So under the first one. Under and through. We're now going to go over the top and back through the three loops that we came from. We're now going to go to the top again, this time only through two loops. So under and through the two loops then behind the top cord and under and through the second loop at the top. Then return back through the two loops that we came from.
We're going to repeat this by going through one loop, under and through the first loop, behind the chord, under and through the third loop at the very top. Like this, then return through the loop that we came from. And with this, we have tied our 3x3 three three bow treasure knot. Because we used a jig, the knot is semi tightened already, and adjusting it and removing the slack should be very easy. Just take one of the cords and follow it until you reach the other cord where you pull out the slack. So guys, I hope that you found this tutorial to be helpful. Thank you for joining me and I hope to see you in future projects as well. See you next time.